The identity of R. Kelly's girlfriend, who claimed to have aborted his baby, is being challenged. So about two days ago, one of um, Kelly's girlfriends and most ardent defender in public, Joyce Lane Savage, was set to now claim to be Kelly's victim, accusing him of sexually and physically abusing her and forced her to have two abortions. However, new find findings reveal that the identity of person behind the now deleted social account is questionable. The page alleging to be that of Justin has been removed after multiple unsuccessful attempts to verify the identity of the account holder. Hmm. Okay, okay, so this is a new twist. We didn't get the chance to talk about the accusation when it happened, so mm. I think I'm happy I didn't get to talk about it right now. <laughs> but now it's um, questionable. Yeah. For some reason, I feel I'm, I don't believe she's the one. And I feel like it, Joyce Lane, that's her name, when she's very vocal and she's been doing it not behind closed doors. In she does of videos the camera, in front of cameras, interview interviews. TMZ, yeah. She has done on YouTube and also if she has gotten to that point where she wants to Speak tell a, a different truth, because mm -hmm. everybody has their truth. If mm -hmm. you say this is your truth, I'm not the one to argue your truth with you, right? If she now has a different truth and she says that is what it is, I think she would come out to also see it. Now, using a platform that is for crowdfunding and people were actually dropping money mm. on that platform. So, so far, 1,800 users has uh, have donated and donation, I think, ranges between $8 and $25. $25. So you can mm. imagine how much that is. But the owners of the platform are saying they're holding the money until they can verify their they identity. Account. And if they can't, they return it to the people. But so I'm thinking, did someone decide to create that username to make quick cash because from what they said i didn't even really when it dropped but it was a case of repeated allegations so the same thing that other people have been saying is the same thing that this person is coming out to say so why is there so much similarities in all this accusation i'm just saying so yeah that's how i feel mm, yeah i mean she she like i don't know i don't want to say she's not the one mm -hmm. because anything can happen people can be maybe she, because she's just scared that she has been supporting him all this while, and mm -hmm. then now she wants to talk. She doesn't know how people would take it that she's coming out to say this now. So she's probably hiding behind that account. We never can tell. But when it comes to people paying to that account, that's where I have problem, and I'm doubting she might not be the one. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think she really wants to speak her truth to get money at this point right what now. What if she's broke and Kelly is in the... Is in jail. There's nobody right. giving her money. So I mean, that was that, that was also. one of um, Kelly's lawyers' defense mm -hmm. that we all know the situation now, and there is no money. Maybe that's why she's doing this now to make money off R. Kelly. But this is a very sensitive and very tricky one mm -hmm. because some are, some people are even saying that it's probably her parents that are trying to get money, money from. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say. On <laughs> this is very tricky. Mm -hmm. Right, unfortunate. Right. Um, and Jocelyn has always been a pro R. Kelly mm -hmm. prior to this time. Mm -hmm. For those who have followed the story, I mean, she, she defended him with, with her blood, with her life, that no, he, all those things are accusations. Then we need to think probable cause. What, what changed? What happened? Oh, you can Coming go into some, and some level what? of realization mm -hmm. to say, um, you know I, have a I think truth. I was used. I, I yeah, because she, she has been. Um, I'm also a victim. But before now, you were defending... Which is why I said, I cannot argue anyone's you know, truth. Yeah. yeah. Your you were, truth yeah, is you your were truth. Defending, you were defending this guy. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, something snapped and, ah, I'm also a victim, and so I need to come speak my truth. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say categorically, I don't think she's the one behind that account. Mm -hmm. okay. It's fraudulent. Like Riley said, she, she's always been vocal in front of cameras, and so what would she be afraid of? On um, a platform that we don't... Okay, so that's it. The, I'm also yeah, thinking, you know, what if this is a publicity stunt for this platform? I mean, is what it? You know, <laughs> yes, because again, now we all know that there's a crowdfunding platform called mm, Patreon or Patreon. 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 I mean, if that's the case, then this is working. Yeah. Because mm. you know, a lot of people now know that there's a platform like that. But and I mean, again, that would be so unfair for, to it's use not just, hold on, it's for not even, publicity stunts right now. It's not even right a now. platform for something like this. It's a platform for creatives. Mm. that want to get money for That's their it. 
um, creative ideas the and all that. Yeah. So why will a Joycelyn go on this platform to talk about sexual harassment and mm. not on Instagram? Not what's the popular um, crowdfunding platform that? GoFundMe. Go, not on GoFundMe, go right? Mm. I mean, I don't know. There's so it's many. It's questionable. And... It's questionable, and as it's going right now, let me tell you what they're going to do to this Kelly's case. Many, many people have taken advantage of this case of surviving Al Kelly from different angles. Those mm -hmm. who want to make money out of it. Those who, for political reasons, you know what I mean. What might end up happening to this case is become a media case mm. that after a while there'll Ooh. be there'll be no credible evidence again to pin Al Kelly for what everybody's come out to say about him with mm. the way everything is going. So if they keep up this way, um, today somebody comes out and says something, tomorrow they come and say something differently. You're casting a sp you're, ca you're casting doubt and no, no enough evidences to finally, you know what, nip this guy. The case will just become a media case that never yeah, sees the end of the day. Yeah, and because of that, I think they should be careful because mm. I'm not even going to say I think he did not do what he did. I know there's an atom of truth, but if they want justice, they need to be careful about how they plead it because when it comes to the law and justice, it's about evidence and you being able to prove what he has I'm done. I'm talking about what um, the, pre yeah, the person behind the account yeah. is putting out. The other girlfriend has come to identify that there are some things that was um, said in that... Um, story or that post that was put on that account that does not seem like Al Kelly or what Al Kelly can do. Mm. So now there's a problem. What the person probably does not even know or does not have a close, close relationship sure. with Al Kelly. So the person is missing some things out. I'm thinking on this case, Al Kelly's lawyer, they have a good standing on this case. If mm -hmm. you're to pursue this, mm. this case will not hold in court. It, it could be dismissed, you know. So until Justin comes out to say something, because the account has been deleted all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. So why yeah, would it, yeah, it was deleted. Yeah. And yeah, my right. problem is why she, I mean, she, like you said, she's very, um, she's not camera shy. She can speak to the camera anytime. If she's not the one behind this account, why is she not saying anything? Well, let's hope that she says something soon. Mm -hmm. And if not, then we'll see how this plays out because we're still surviving our Kelly. Mm. <laughs>